you as the expert. You are the expert, and this is a responsibility that's bigger than you think. People look at you as the person that can solve their painting problems, or their sculpting problems, or any of their art problems. But I'm here in this section and other sections to help you develop basic skills that you can use for any group. It is not personal, but it is. When you're critiquing, it's essential to consider that people put their heart and soul into creating the artwork. This painting, drawing, sculpture, or print is their baby. Make it clear in the beginning that you will be discussing certain elements, just composition, or just color, or just basic elements like values, or but you need basic guidelines that you will give them when you're critiquing. Now here's the big one. Like has no place in a critique. Like is a word you should never ever use in a critique. You need to use words that make you look like a professional and sound like a professional. You need to use words like shapes that go well together, color harmony, composition, different professional technical words that show that you are a professional. You're the expert. So first of all, you need to look like a professional. Your appearance counts. Don't show up with clothes that are all messy and spattered with paint. That's a big no-no. You need to dress the part. So first of all, wear something neat and tidy. Wear a nice dress if you're a woman. A nice shirt and pants if you're a man. You may want to wear a jacket. Maybe not, depending on where you are. But you need to look the part of a professional. Here's another tip. In your hand, what you're going to do is have a cheat sheet. You're going to write down all the different things that you're going to talk to them about and keep them as reminders. When you're up there, it's easy to get on a roll and then forget the basic things you've decided to work on. So you might write down, okay, I'm going to talk about composition. I'm going to talk about different ways you can arrange your composition and make it a lot better. So you just write down little tiny notes on a card and you keep it in your hand. Now this card has two purposes. The first is to keep you organized. The second is to help with your nervousness. When you're holding something in your hand, you're a little less nervous. So remind yourself that you'll do fine and you're here to help people. When you think about the fact that you're there to help people, you do a lot better. Here's your assignment. You are invited to a critique. You're asked by the group to tell something about yourself. Now, people love to hear about your art career. They love to hear about your painting. They love to hear about different shows you've been in. There's all kinds of things you can talk about, but keep it short. They want to hear about you, but just a little bit, because really, you're there to help them. And that's the important part. Do this now. Write down two small paragraphs of information about you, something you could tell an audience. That's your assignment now. See you in the next section.